I'll tell you guys what, th this car definitely doesn't have the heat soak issue it used to have, which is one of the things that bothers our cars a lot. You know, when you have your air filter underneath the hood like I did, and it's exposed, you know, after a couple of runs, you're just sucking hot air, sucking hot air, and you know, that's bad for, you know, the air fuel ratios, that's bad for a lot of things. You know when it comes down to the engine temps and everything but when you have your air filter either in the front bumper which is not a good thing here in Florida or you have it in the cow which is at least better than you know having it in the you know front bumper where if you go through a puddle of water like we're headed to you could actually you know suck in a lot of water and that could be bad news I really enjoy just all the noises because that's what Italian cars are about. They're about, you know, the atmosphere and the ambiance that's created by the engine. Because, yeah, no, Italian cars are sexy and they're beautiful. And, you know, you got names like Ferrari, Lamborghini, Pagani, you know, Lancia. I could be an Italian car. <laughs> <laughs> sings like Tom Petty in the Heartbreakers. Yes. You know, it sings free falling pretty well <laughs> around the mouse ball loop. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's what's really important is not necessarily how fast the car can go. I mean, today everybody's so, you know, just over over engrossed with uh, zero to 60 times. You know, you got this uh, brand new Demon 170 coming out, and obviously it's the last of the Dodges that are coming out. You know, which obviously, you know, the meme is, you know, um, high horsepower, low credit score. <laughs> so the thing is, you have, you know, basically the golden age of, you know, high horsepower cars. You know, and this happened before. This wasn't, you know, unusual before. You know, we had. You know the gas crunch in the 70s which resulted in that same problem where everyone thought you know the v8 was going to go the way of the dinosaur and it didn't you know or v12s were going to disappear and a lot of these cars that everybody loved were gonna be gone oh man oh. <laughs> the mouse ball's gonna get wet uh, there ain't no grass over here what?
me and Jess as a whole is the driving experience, not necessarily the numbers. But, you know, hey, if we get to the point where we've sweated every detail of this car and we're satisfied with it, then yeah, we'll work on the engine and get more power out of it. And we've got a Volkswagen on us. probably just a basic golf but yeah guys you know that's the point of these cars and that's the reason why I have an Abarth Turbo Tom has an Abarth and you know both of us have 500s as well you know it's not about the numbers with us you know um, it's about the fun yeah it's about having fun and the thing is that you can have fun in just about any car if you put a little bit of yourself into that car now you know if you just buy it and you're done with it and yeah, yeah you can show it and take it to meets and everything else like that and keep it really clean and shouldn't you just get a Corolla at that point yeah well I mean you, you, you can actually get more personality out of a Corolla because if you do something to a Corolla not too many people do things to Corollas <laughs> well, you know so denim and drive them around for the rest of the time. well I mean the thing is <laughs> that the, the odder the car is the more the easier it is to actually you know do stuff to the car because if the car is like a, a Mustang well you only got so many options before you know you run out of things you can do with a Mustang if you got a Corvette same thing you know if, but if you have like this Ford Fusion next to us you know if you bag it if you put nice rims on it if you do an interior touches to it if you do a you know high performance motor in it you swap a Coyote 5 liter in that car that's impressive because you know that's a, a platform that's very mundane um it's bought by you know vanilla people who don't really like sports cars and the thing is is that it's all about the creativity it's all about taking something you have and understanding that okay you know what i can't afford a lambo i can't afford a ferrari i can't afford a gt500 mustang but i'm gonna do what i can with this to make it enjoyable and to turn heads and break necks with it and Sure, you can make the argument that, well, it's more economical to just save your money and get a, a Mustang or get a Camaro or whatever, but Hunt it's not mouth, mister. It's not as much fun. <laughs> no. It's not as much fun. Unless because, you love ditches. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or you like running in the crowds, whichever yeah. you prefer. Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and do some window lowering here. Car will flutter. Now the Ford thinks he won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got to be done at a certain speed. It's got to be a very low speed to do it. We'll roll up the windows one more time so that way we can hopefully t Turbo Tom can hear it because it's really neat. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you hear that a whole lot better. Than, oh, that was yeah, so cool. than, <laughs> than if you were to have. You know, because when I had the the blow off valve installed, yeah, no, I could hear it, but not like that. Like, literally, it's coming into the cabin. <laughs> wow, how it, cool is that? It sounds like a little chipmunk, and that's what I love about well, yeah, it. The average Abarth owner would be sitting there selling their car right now because they think there's something wrong with it. Yeah, no, exactly. You know, the average Fiat 500 owner would be selling their car because they think something's wrong with it you know but you know that's kind of the problem you know with the community the, oh my gosh it's hit a hundred thousand miles i have to get rid of it yeah exactly um, keep your cars babe keep your cars yeah no keep the cars stop getting rid of them there's nothing wrong with them there's plenty of cars that have reached you know over 180k and they run just fine you know all you have to do is do your service work on them and the thing is eventually you know 
it's going to get to a point where me and Turbo Tom are going to be able to do that kind of service work on Fiat 500s because my goal, Jessica's goal, and Turbo Tom's goal is to keep people in these cars. You know, so if we can do that and, you know, get paid at the same time for doing those services for people to keep these cars in the next 10 to 15 years, you'll still see these cars on the road and they'll probably be worth three times as much because, you know, when everything supposedly goes electric, you know, well, it's not going to be completely electric because it's going to take an easy 30 years before everybody adopts electric cars. And the thing is, I just don't see it happening, to be honest with you. I see gasoline cars being around for a long time, and I see enthusiasts having more gas reserves to use while normies drive electric cars. So electric- they run out of battery material too. Yeah, exactly. They're definitely gonna run out of the lithium ion and all that stuff. They're gonna have to have Elon, you know, take them to Mars to get whatever, you know, uh, materials and deposits to make batteries. So guys stay happy stay healthy stay wealthy and remember if you like tom betty and the heartbreakers you're probably gonna like a ride in mouse ball take it easy guys mouse ball out